Hello everybody. So today we're going to be talking about Legenda Transforms. And the Legenda Transform is basically like a way of um, sort of changing our variables to another type of variable. So I might have to be working with enthalpy or Gibbs free energy. And we want to be able to come up with sort of an easy way to get to those points. Um, maybe to get our Maxwell relations or, or maybe to get, um, I don't know, just, just sometimes we have to deal with enthalpy and we need enthalpy, right? So, um, since I chose enthalpy, we'll talk about enthalpy. I know that enthalpy is given by U plus PV, right? That's the formula for enthalpy. And enthalpy I'm going to call H, right? So that's internal energy plus pressure times volume, right? Cool. So, I also know that U is equal to Q plus W. And this is sort of where you see the difference between like advanced thermodynamics and more simplistic thermodynamics. And it just depends on U, but, um, and that's not even necessarily a difference between advanced and, and simplistic. But basically, we're taking W in as our positive work this time. Normally I would have said W out is our positive work. Heat in is still our positive heat, but W in is our positive uh, W this time. So just keep that in mind, okay? Now, I can say that DU equals DQ plus DW. And I'm going to go ahead and put these bars on this Q and this W just to imply that they're Fafians. Now, Fafians spelled like this means that, um, this is how you spell Fafians. Fafian. This just basically means that these are path dependent. Um, the amount of work that you get out of something depends on the path that you on the path that you take, and I'll go more into this on another video if I haven't already done so. Depending on where this video is in the playlist, but basically these are work these are path dependent, and this isn't. I can get my difference in 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 u by taking my u at a certain point and subtracting it from my u at another point to get the difference. But you can't really do that with, with, with work. Work is sort of like a process. And, and like I said, I'll, I'll get into that in another video. But basically we have this, okay? And this, I'm gonna go ahead and say is equal to this. Combining the first and the second law, I can say that du equals tds minus pdv, right? Because that work is positive. Now, let me just give myself a little bit of space here. I'm going to go ahead and rewrite that. DU equals TDS minus PDV, right? Cool. Looks good so far, right? Now, looking at this, I'm trying to get enthalpy. I see that there's a U, a P, and a V here. I have a U here, I have a P here, and I have a V here. But the difference is my U is over here. We just got some funny stuff going on. And what we're trying to get here is DH, okay? I'll give you that hint. We're trying to get DH. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is say that my DU is equal to TDS. And I'm leaving this TDS alone because I don't see any change in my T or my S. I don't even see a T or an S involved in this whole enthalpy equation. So I'm leaving that as it is. And I'm gonna go ahead and say minus DPV. I'm gonna go ahead and take the product rule of this. But I can't just add that and not, or subtract this and not have to add something to sort of keep this equation constant. So I know that dPV is equal to PDV plus VDP, right? That being said, this negative dPV will be equal to negative PDV minus VDP, right? Cool. So because this is equal to negative PDV minus VDP, I'm going to go ahead and say that, so if I want to leave this in this whole equation, so, and I, and I already have my PDV here, my negative PDV here, right? Because I'm subtracting it. So I want to sort of make this equal. So like, what can I replace this PDV with in terms of all of this? I can go ahead and say that my negative PDV is equal to, add this to this side, negative DPV 
plus VDP, right? Now, I'm going to replace this PDV with this. So I'm going to add this VDP here. Now, I sort of like what's going on. I'm going to add DPV, this term right here, to both sides. So DU plus DPV is equal to TDS plus VDP. Cool. Now, using just the rules of math and everything, I can go ahead and say that this term is equal to this term right here, du plus pv. What does that look like? Enthalpy, right? Cool. du plus pv is equal to tds plus vdp, okay? Now, I can go ahead and say that dh, I'll write that in green, just so that you have the fundamental uh, I don't know if that's a fundamental law, but so that you have the actual formula for this. Let me say that. DH is equal to, that's DH, right? TDS plus VDP. And that's what you have right there. That's your formula for DH. So what do we do? We sort of use product rule, combine the first and second law to sort of bring about just moving around some variables to get this dh, which is simply equal to du plus dpv. But you have to remember that the really important thing to remember here is just your math manipulation. Um, if you need to, go through every single step because, I mean, it's not worth it to make a simple mistake, you know? So um, that's how you get enthalpy using the Legendre transform. Um, if you didn't understand anything, please feel free to leave um, comments in the comment section, ask some questions. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and we're going to keep doing more Legendre Transforms. Hopefully you get the hang of it. All right, let's keep learning thermal.